Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to catch floats behind solid areas of contrasting color invisibly. In this little Scotty Dog motif there's places where you have to catch the white behind here and here and where you have to catch the pink behind these areas of the white and you can see that the white is not showing through on the body and the pink is not showing through in the white area. Now this little piece is knitted flat but the principles I'm going to show you uh, apply to being uh, knit in the round as well. I just knit it in flat, flat because it was quicker to make the little sample for this video. So let's look at the other side. Let's look at this pink area. You can see I caught the white multiple times. And up in here in the white areas, I caught the pink multiple times. My general rule of thumb is this. You can see that across the pink, there are nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Usually I catch a float if it's an inch or longer. In this particular fabric, I'm getting five stitches to the inch, so I can knit five stitches like right here without catching a float. But here where I have six, yes, I caught the float behind. And when I do catch the float, I try to catch it towards the center. But I don't catch the float stacked on top of each other. For example, in the little Scotty dog here, you can see I staggered how I caught the floats. So let me get a little pointer. The, this is a float that's caught here here, here, and here. So if I had staggered them one on top of the other, then it makes a dent in the fabric on the other side. You can see here where I caught the pink behind the white, I staggered the floats. And up here, I staggered the floats. In these areas, you don't have to do any catching because it's not long enough. Only in the areas where you have an inch or more between the color changes. So let me show you how I do this so that they don't show. So right here, I'm ready to do a stretch of nine stitches in the pink, and I'll need to catch the white behind. So let me get over to it. And this, I'm demonstrating showing one a yarn in each hand, but this, the same principle applies to no matter how you hold the yarns. Okay, so now I'm gonna be knitting nine pinks in a row. So that means somewhere along here, I've got to catch the white, and I'm gonna do it on the fifth stitch on this first pass over the pink. So I'm gonna knit five, one, two, three, four, five. In the fifth one, I'm going to catch the white yarn. So I put my needle in, white over, pink over, white off. Now when I go to pull, see the blip of white here? When I go to pull this through, sometimes that white shows through right there. Now this here is a stitch. We're not worried about that. What we're worried about is this white showing through to the front. And all you have to do is give that white a little tug, just like that, and it pulls to, to the back side. That's the trick. So let's go over and try it again. One more pink. And then we've got these whites. One, and I think we're gonna have six whites, so we're gonna catch the pink. We'll catch it on the third stitch. I put my needle through, go under the pink, catch the white, and pull the pink through. In this case, the pink really isn't showing, but if it were, you'd just pull it on a little tug on it. One, two, three, and then we're gonna have nine pinks again, and we'll do that again. So this is all, whoops, we knitted with the wrong color. White. This is all I do to make those floats, catching the floats, invisible. And you need to maintain plenty of space in the float. Don't pull it up tight. 
three, four, here we're gonna catch it. White, pink, white off, pull it through, look for the white blip, pull it back a little bit. So that's it, I've shown you for the whites and the pinks, and that's all there is to it. So let's look at that little cute little Scotty dog swatch. Isn't that adorable? I love that. I think I want to make some socks and put this around the top of the socks. Wouldn't that be cute? He has a little red um, collar that you put, bow that you put around his neck with a duplicate stitch that's not on here. If you like my videos, please subscribe and share them with your friends. I really don't do much advertising. I don't have... Um, a big website or anything. All I do are my YouTube videos, educational, and the way that people hear about them is by word of mouth. So I would appreciate if you share them, subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up, share it on Facebook, Pinterest, Ravelry, wherever you want. I have links to all of my connections in the description below this video. I hope you come back for more and happy knitting.